Hi guys, Barnaby and Jack for Spurred On and your weekly edition of Spurverts. Jack, how are you? I'm excited. Excited for Not as excited game. as me. You're we not wearing your Spurs One Hotspur membership scarf. I've got a really horribly coloured jumper on, so... Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, guys, these are the things we're going to be talking about in today's Spurverts. Obviously, the West Brom performance at the weekend. Toby's injury looking a little bit better than I was feeling on Saturday night when I was worried about it. Uh, the Leverkusen team selection today. Who's Poch going to go for? Uh, Jack's prediction for the result. Let's see what that is. Uh, Marcus Edwards flew out there and trained with the first team. Will he get a place on the bench? And this weekend's forthcoming Bournemouth game away. Can we recreate that 5-1 feeling? But let's get started with West Brom. Jack, you were watching the game. Um, one all in the end feels like a good result considering after what Chadley did in the 82nd minute. Well, it was written that that would happen, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, lots of us were sort of predicting that that would happen. I personally didn't think it would, but then he goes on and, and scores against us in the 83rd minute. I thought that was it, and I yeah. thought it'd be one of those days where you pepper their goal, their goalie turns up, which always seems to happen against us. Goalies just love having a good game against us. Ben Foster always plays well against us, except for that year where um, he was in goal when Robbo scored against him, Paul oh, Robinson. Yeah. Um, but no, it was a tremendous, you know, goalkeeping background myself. The save, especially from Ericsson, was the one for me. Unbelievable, tiniest little fingertip down to his right. Sometimes you just got to say fair play, just like mm. Tim Krul against us for Newcastle a few years ago. At least we didn't lose the game uh, yeah. at the weekend. Whereas Games in the past, we would have lost that game. And, yeah. and the spirit to go on and, and for Dele Alli to go and get that goal, which I think was a good finish as well. Amazing finish. Just to poke it uh, into the side netting. Yeah, I think, it was, I think it was a good finish. And, it, and like I say, the spirit to be able to do that fills you with confidence that even when we aren't on the way to getting results that we want, yeah. we can still possibly grab points still out of it. Still nicking points. Should... Is there anything to be said for that kind of stat that it looks very much like we've basically got still the exact same results against the teams <laughs> we've played, even though we've had a better start, obviously, than last season? In terms of results, we drew one all at West Brom last time. We beat City at home last time. You know, is that anything that concerns you? I, to be honest, I don't, I don't think it's something that we should be looking at at all, really, because th then you start comparing yourself to last season when... You know, you want to be moving on and improving from what we did last yeah. season because we seem to crumble towards the end of the season. And I think you don't want that potentially creeping into people's minds yeah. if you start comparing it too much to last season. So I'm not really looking at that too much. All right. And, um, you know, like we said, mentioned the first half, played some terrific football. I want to talk a bit about Vincent Janssen because uh, he's getting some stick for not scoring goals. But his his play with, the back, with his back to goal was, was top notch, I thought. Yeah, well, this is something that that we've been we've been speaking about sort of back uh, off camera and although he does do that really well we're comparing him to players sort of like Van Nistelrooy and, and he's been dubbed the next Van Nistelrooy but Van Nistelrooy scored goals and yes he scored goals in the Bundesliga he's their top scorer last season at Divisa last season um, and he was their one of their best players but you do need to start scoring those goals if you're going to be compared to people like but him. But he's not missing chances no, he's is he not, really? But he's not scoring goals and that's yeah. what people's problem is and I do see I do see that that people are going to get a bit annoyed about that and it, and it has been a while he's only scored one goal for Spurs yeah. against Gillingham in the League Cup. So he does need to get that goal but then once you once he does get that goal you'd hope that he starts banging him in. Yeah and because it's it's, it, yeah it's a confidence thing isn't it not just in terms of you know, like you said, he's not really missing chance, but confidence to be in the right place at the yeah. right time. It kind of happens instinctively, doesn't it? Mm. Uh, OK, uh, the other thing, moving on to the second thing, obviously uh, it looked like a bad one for Toby Alderweire, which I think it's fair to say, you know, at the beginning of the season or in articles I've read as well, you say, you know, who could Spurs not live without? And, and people say, well, they can't live without Harry Kane. Well, we've lived without Harry Kane. Or they couldn't live without Moussa Dembele. Well, we're living without Moussa Dembele, even though he's coming back to fitness. Could we live without Eric Dyer? Well, we found a way because he had a little hamstring as well. Toby, for me, is the mm. one where if it had been bad and on Saturday night it looked bad, we yeah. would be struggling, don't you think? Well, I think him and Hugo as well. If you're without those two players for too long, then I do think, yeah, you might start to see a few problems creeping in. But luckily, the injury's not as bad as we first thought. I mean, when he went down and then got back up and then went back down mm. again, I was thinking... Christ, this is this is actually serious here. But luckily, it's it's just bruising, isn't it? So, I'm really happy. And and the fact that Poch said that he would miss this game, yeah, fills with confidence that you know he, you know I'm reading as well that he'll be back in training hopefully next week. So, uh, so I'll miss Bournemouth as well. You think? Yeah, well, Bournemouth. Apparently, they'll both be back by Leicester. So we'll miss Bournemouth and the game against Liverpool. Oh, in the cup. 
but I'm not sure he would have played in that anyway, no, to be exactly. honest. That, that is a good, the Liverpool Cup game, I think, is uh, Carter, Vickers and Vimmer, quite yeah. possibly. Uh, OK, well, that brings us nicely into tonight's game as well. Our third Champions League game. We're sitting in second place in the group with three points from two games. Obviously lost at home to Monaco at Wembley and uh, won at CSKA. I've been watching some of Leverkusen's uh, previous games this season. They're 10th in the Bundesliga at the moment. Haven't had a great start, but they did beat Dortmund 2-0 at home. Yeah. Uh, we've now got them away and then home in the Champions League. They've got Chicharito up front. They've got some good players. Um, what do you think, what team selection do you think Pochettino will go for tonight? Any real surprise? We've mentioned before in, in match preview battles for the Premier League, got a big squad now, so it's hard to really work it out. But he rested, for instance, Danny Rose at yeah. the weekend, didn't he? So you think he'll go, you know, really strong tonight, as strong as he can? Will Dembele and Dyer play, for instance? I'm thinking that... Him bringing Dyer on at centre back at the weekend obviously he didn't have Vimmer. Um, Vimmer's not played too many, well, he hasn't played a game no. this season, has he? So I'm thinking that he probably will start Dyer at the back. Is that a kick in the teeth for Vimmer? Well, do you think? it is, yeah, but then you can't just throw him into a Champions League away game at a yeah. team as, as good as it. Leverkusen haven't started brilliantly, but they're in the Champions League for a reason. So you can't just throw Vimmer in. I think Dyer will probably start. I okay. think he'll rotate the full backs. Really? Um, I think Trippier will start, and obviously Davis started at the weekend, so I think Rose was being okay. rested for this very reason. Um, and Sonny's probably going to start up top. Yeah, well. force nine, Sonny. Yeah. And then you think Ericsson, Ali, Lamella, yeah, Lamella, yeah. Lamella behind, yeah. and then will Dembele come into central midfield, yeah, do you think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it'll be good to see Musa Musa back in. Guys, let us know in the comments box below what team you think Poch will go for. Good thing about Champions League, not the only good thing is, but you don't have to wait till an hour before kickoff. They release a team about an hour and a half before kickoff, which is nice. I like that about the Champions League. Um, small mercies, they're the kind of things I enjoy. Uh, Prediction-wise, what do you think? I'm going to tell you mine first. Uh, I'm going to go... One all. I thought I, I thought it would be one all at the weekend against West Brom, but I wanted to be positive on this video, so I said two one. It was one all. Uh, my my head is telling me one all tonight, and I actually wouldn't be disappointed with that. I think the thing about our group in this Champions League isn't just that I think we're the best team in it, which I do think we are, but I think the other teams will all take points off each other, and that's already been proven. So I wouldn't even back Monaco to go to CSKA and win tonight. So mm -hmm. a point at Leverkusen, I think, might end up being a good result if we can get that. What do you think? Yeah, well, the manager said. He doesn't really want anything but a win. Yeah. But I think, yeah, like you say, to get a point away at, at Leverkusen would be, you know, it puts us on to four points. Mm -hmm. um, and with Monaco going to Moscow, yeah, yeah, that's a tough draw. I mean, we only come back with, with one goal. Well, we did win the game, but it is a tough draw to go out yeah. there and, and, and get any points, really. So, yeah, I think a point for us is good. So, yeah, I, I, yeah I reckon, like you, I reckon we'll, we'll get a draw, maybe nick a win. So I'm going to go, go, to be different to you, I'm going to go 2-1 Spurs. Lovely. That, how good would it feel if we could get a win tonight mm. and then also go to Bournemouth Saturday uh, lunchtime and get a win there? Um, but we'll talk about that in a second. Um, interesting to see Marcus Edwards, obviously the great hope. Uh, he played a bit against Gillingham, looked very bright. Mm. Everything I've seen of him looks very bright. And also he looks like he's filling out a bit as well. Um, you know, this time, certainly six months ago, a year ago, he was very, very thin and obviously is quite short. He's flown out with the squad and trained with them in Leverkusen. Do you think that's just Pochettino doing what he did with Carter Vickers yeah. last year, like bedding him in, getting him used to how these things work, um, rather than having him on the bench? Well, like like we saw last season, when you say with Carter Vickers, he was putting him on the bench just to be with that first team experience yeah. and give and him Onoma. the confidence. And Onoma, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, to give him the confidence to, you know, hang about with the first team yeah. and all that sort get of thing. Just, it. It's just the experience we can get into it. Um, so, yeah, whether I don't think he'll really... You'll get on the bench maybe, but, um, yeah, I don't think he'll... You don't think he'll start. It's very exciting, though, uh, and uh, it must be very exciting for him as well to kind of yeah, be amongst, massive, massive. amongst the players for a big Champions League game, get on the private jet, all that kind of stuff. OK, and uh, as I mentioned, the Bournemouth game, it's Saturday, 12.30 kickoff, Sky Sports. Obviously went there last year, won 5-1, and we beat them comfortably at home as well, didn't we? 3-0, I think. Um, that was the day when we went to Bournemouth last year that you... Yeah, I, I inadvertently got on their, uh, <laughs> their public address system. Uh, won't be doing that this time. Um, it's important, I think, that we win that game, I have to say. Not mm. just because of the league, but also, you know, get confidence as high as it can be going into our tough run of games yeah. after that, which is Liverpool in the Cup, then Leicester, then Arsenal, pretty much, isn't it? Well, consistency in this sort of... Because we've got four away... This is our second of four away games tonight. Bournemouth will be the third, and then we've got Anfield yeah. on Tuesday. 
Is it yeah, Tuesday? I think so, yeah. Well, midweek next week. It's very important to get consistency and, and confidence high. So, yeah, I think getting these wins at are important, very important as well. And Bournemouth are on the back of a 6-1 win, so... Yeah. The thing I like yeah. about playing Bournemouth, I have to say, though, it's almost the antithesis of when you go to play a Tony Pulis side. They want to mm. play football. They're not going to give us the kind of aggressive, physical shit, dare I say it, that Pulis sides do. And that's why I think last season we played so well against Bournemouth is because it suits us to play against footballing sides. Yeah. And so hopefully that will continue on uh, on Saturday lunchtime. I'd really like us to get an early goal in that and uh, just kind of dominate the game. And I think we will, to be honest. But uh, a lot of that might well depend on how we do tonight, guys. Let us know in the comments below how you think it will go tonight. What's your prediction? Uh, are you confident? Will we get a win like Jack says? Or will it be a draw like I think it might be? Um, either way, make sure you get behind the boys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV, and most importantly, come on you Spurs. Come on you Spurs. Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred on, and this is another match preview, this time for the Champions League.